Haggerty Classic Car TV. Welcome everyone to Haggerty Classic Car TV. For this week's episode, we pay tribute to the great automotive designer, Ferdinand Porsche, who passed away recently at the age of 76. Now, apart from being the grandson of the famous founder of the company, F.A. Porsche designed one of the most recognizable sports cars in the world, the Porsche 911. Well, 2013 happens to be the 50th anniversary of the Porsche 911, and uh, Rob Sass and I are standing here at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles next to what is one of the earliest uh, 911s, and, and what a lot of people may not know is that the 911 originally started out as a... It's the 901. Interestingly, the French company Peugeot claimed to have a trademark on model designations that were a digit with a zero in the middle, three-digit designation that has a zero in the middle, so Porsche changed the car to 911. So what... Uh, what distinguishes the earliest of the 911s or the 901s mm -hmm. um, to you know a later style 911? Well, a couple of interesting things here. If you look down the side of the car, you can see that this is this is a narrow car. Um, the 356, which preceded it, didn't have really any fender flares at all. And this car has just really very very subtle fender flares. Um, short wheelbase. Um, Porsche stretched the wheelbase of this car in 1969, but this is the original short wheelbase 911. Um, you'll notice a lot of bright trim on the outside of the car that went away on the later cars. You've got a very, very pretty wood steering wheel that's very sought after by Porsche collectors. Up to, I think, 1966, they also had wood on the dash, as this car does. And this car has these nice houndstooth fabric seat inserts, which Porsche people like an awful lot. Again, you know, you look at the wheels and tires in this car, not the familiar uh, five-spoke Fuchs alloy wheels that you saw in later cars. These are just chrome steel wheels, and they're very narrow. All right, so now if I was uh, interested in purchasing one of the earliest 911s, what should I look out for? Porsche built these beautiful, wonderful, high-quality sports cars, but like anybody else in the era, they really didn't know how to effectively rust-proof them. So up until really about 1976, Porsche's just rusted. Okay, so uh, how about on the mechanical side? Um, what should we look out for? Mechanical side, you know, these cars are, are less robust. This is a two-liter engine, and, and later these cars, you know, became, you know, three liter and 3.2 liters. They were altogether more robust engines, but um, for the most part, mechanical parts, not hard to come by really for any vintage of 911. It's the body cancer issue that really is the, the big thing with these cars.